I asked a group of 20,000 Kemper users what their top five reasons for buying the Kemper was so you don't have to. And honestly, the results were a lot different than I thought they'd be. So let's just skip the intro and let's just dive into the number one reason people are buying the Kemper Profiler. Hands down above everything else with a whopping 43% of the votes was that the Kemper Profiler has incredible amp tone and amp feel. I think this is arguably the most important reason to buy the Kemper and any other modeler for that matter. Actually, and while we're talking about that, drop a comment down below and let me know what your number one reason for buying an amp modeler is. The Kemper Profiler is truly an incredible unit, and as somebody that has owned this amp for nearly four years now and have played quite a few other modelers, I can attest to just how incredible this unit sounds, how consistent it is, and how great the amp tone and response is when playing through in-ear monitors or through an FRFR cab. I play live a lot, and before my Kemper Profiler, I'd always have to take my amp, mic up the cabinet, get it just right and crank my tube amp, oftentimes way too loud and higher than the sound tech wanted to get that dream tone and that really saturated and warm feel from a tube amp. Well, no more. Since switching to the Kemper Profiler, I can have incredible amp tones at any volume that sound 98, 99% as good as the real amp. I think one clear distinction to make is that the Kemper Profiler does not sound like a real amp. In my opinion, I think the Kemper sounds like an amp that has been recorded. And the reason I think this is a clear distinction to make is a lot of other modelers are a computer trying to emulate the way that it thinks an amp will sound and respond in a certain environment. Whereas the Kemper Profiler is going to take a captured sonic profile of whatever amp and whatever environment you have and then perfectly replicate that and then you have that consistently time and time again. As somebody who just purchased a Helix, I can absolutely attest to the fact that the Kemper's amp tone and feel is significantly better. Now, this isn't to say that the Helix isn't fantastic in its own right, and honestly, if you would like a comparison between the two, drop a comment down below and I'd be happy to do that. But the Helix, I think, shines in its own area, and that's specifically effects, which I'll talk about a little bit later. But all in all, the Kemper Profiler shines when it comes to amp tone and amp feel. Now for the second most popular reason people purchase the Kemper Profiler. This is a massive reason people switch to the Kemper Profiler, and with good reason. Before I owned my Kemper, I had a Dr. Z Moz 18, a Temple Audio Duo 24 board, two guitars, and normally a cart that I would carry around with me to every single gig. And it was something that I had to do like three or four times a week, and honestly, it was exhausting. I even dropped my amp down a flight of stairs one time because I was trying to carry too much crap all at once. Since switching to the Kemper Profiler, I just have a Gator Transit bag that I just throw over my shoulder. It carries my head, my remote, my foot switch, my cables, my wireless unit, my in-ear monitors, and a ton of other stuff. So I'll be sure to drop a link down below, that way you can check that out. This means that I can take all of my gear to a show in one trip. And the Kemper Stage is even more portable with a backpack that you can just throw over your shoulder and you're good to go. Honestly, think about it, having access to thousands upon thousands of amps all in a compact and tiny unit. What's not to love about that? Oh yeah, did I also mention that I have a ton of other Kemper tips, tricks, reviews, and other content on my channel, so be sure to like and subscribe, drop a comment down below, and let me know why you're looking to switch to the Kemper. Let's move on to point number three. Honestly, this next reason kind of surprised me, and not so much because it's not a super valid reason, it is, but I didn't realize how big of a motivator it was for people to switch to the Kemper Profiler. Now, like I said earlier, I use my Kemper Profiler to play live all the time, and being able to just take my head, plug it in the front of the house, two XLR cables is insanely convenient. When I had a tube amp, I always had to take my amp, put it inside an ISO box, mic it up, crank it, and it just really was inconsistent. It was really hard for me to dial in that dream tone. Flash forward to me owning the Kemper, and I can have consistent, perfect tones all the time. And I can even send out two different signals to the front of house and to my passive cab. I use a Mission Engineering FRFR cab to give me my stage volume, 
which I send one mix to and I can control, have it as loud as I want, but then I have a separate mix that I have the ability to go back and send to the front of house engineer. Another really compelling piece to the Kemper Profiler and using it live is if you have the remote, this gives you the ability to go in and switch between performances super, super easily. And if you have the stage, you have that all in one unit where you can just easily switch and move things on the fly. Now my only complaint about using the head and the remote option is you need a very specific ethercon cable that connects from the head to the remote and i actually broke it during a live gig once and they're not something that you can typically like run to guitar center and find and so it kind of put me in a weird situation but other than that they're fantastic so let's dive on to the fourth reason to buy the kemper profiler as a content creator and somebody that constantly has to record himself for YouTube, for singles, for sound samples, having something that is incredibly convenient and easy to record with is super important. This is a huge selling point for me and honestly this is where I think the Kemper shines. Because the profiles you hear are already amps that have been captured and recorded, I think these profiles sit really naturally within a mix. All you have to do is take two XLR cables, quarter inch cables, whatever you wanna use, Plug it into your audio interface, your USB, into your DAW, and you're good to go. This is really great because in the past when I've recorded albums or singles, the time that it takes to mic up an amp and get it just right and really to experiment and try to find that perfect sound can take a long time. With the Kemper, you can quickly and easily just scroll between your different profiles and have the sound you want right away. My only complaint about recording with the Kemper is just frankly that it doesn't have an audio interface. At this point, Fractal, Quad Cortex, and Helix all have interfaces built into their modelers and I really wish the Kemper had this because it does mean if you want to record, you need to go out and buy a separate audio interface. In this case, I just bought a cheap Scarlett 2i2 and it does everything I need for me. Let's move on to the last and final reason people voted for the Profiler. Now I'll be honest, when I first bought my Kemper, I had to sell my tube amp and all my pedals and my board just to be able to afford the Kemper. And it was one of those things where at least at first, I was a little worried about going to the Kemper as my all-in-one unit. However, with all that said, the Kemper sounds amazing and their effects are fantastic. Now I do know some musicians that have used their Kemper profiler just solely as their amp and then go in and have a separate pedal board. However, for me, using the Kemper as my all-in-one solution for nearly the last four years has been fantastic. And I've been able to cover everything from alternative, worship, indie, rock, and blues with ease. Another huge win for Kemper is that they've really spent a lot of time updating the firmware for their overdrives, their delays, reverbs, and other effects. And like I mentioned earlier, I actually still think Line 6 and the Helix does their effects significantly better than the Kemper, but the Kemper's effects absolutely do not slack and have not disappointed me as my all-in-one unit, again, for the last four years. Now, in my opinion, I think the Kemper's overdrives are actually really fantastic. This is their newest firmware update and they respond super nicely to the profiles. I think the area for improvement is largely their wet effects, where I feel like this is like 85% of where I would want it to be. Um, it lacks some of the lusciousness that I think Fractal and Helix offer. But again, they're, they are really fantastic and are absolutely usable in most every situation. Speaking of Kemper effects, be sure to watch this video for 13 must-know tricks on the Kemper Profiler.